Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Teen Tuesday with your host Margaret. Today I'm going to show you how to make two different kinds of stress balls. The first one involves water beads and a clear balloon and the second one involves cornstarch. Though you could also substitute in flour or rice or another small grain substance. Sand would probably also work. For that one, we're gonna use regular balloons. And for both, you're going to need a dry, empty water bottle or soda bottle or similarly shaped object with a small neck. The water beads take about an hour to fully expand in warm water. So go put those in warm water now and set them aside while we make the other one first. So, first step for making the cornstarch uh, stress ball is to put the cornstarch inside of the bottle. You may find it helpful to use a funnel for this part. All right. Now, blow up one of the balloons. Give it a twist to temporarily seal the opening and then stretch that over the top of the empty bottle. Allow the balloon to untwist. Yeah. There we go. And then flip it over and gently sort of shake or tap the cornstarch into the balloon. When all the cornstarch is in the balloon, give the balloon a twist again to temporarily seal it and remove it from the bottle. Now this next part needs to be done slowly and carefully. We're gonna let the air out of the balloon if you do it too quickly, you'll end up creating a cornstarch geyser. We don't want that. So, untwist the balloon and let a little bit of air out at a time. Ooh. Now, before you let all of the air out, the air in the balloon is going to change the feeling of the balloon in your hand when you're squeezing it. If you let all of the air out and then squeeze the air out, you'll end up with a much harder ball. If you leave some of the air in with the cornstarch, let's see how much do I have left in there. You'll end up with something that's softer and more elastic to squish. So as you're letting out that last little bit of air, be squeezing and testing the stress ball um, to see what it feels like to know how much air you want to let out of the balloon. When you've reached your optimal um, texture, tie the balloon and you've got a stress ball. I left a bunch of air in mine because I like the way it feels. Now if you want, you can put another balloon over top of the first one to give it a little bit of extra surface tension and also to sort of minimize the little nub sticking out. To do that, take another balloon, cut off the neck of the balloon, open it up, and stretch it over the other one. <laughs> and you can repeat that a couple of times with multiple balloons. 
Just make sure you leave the clear balloon for the Orbeez. Okay, so now that your Orbeez have grown, we're gonna make the second stress ball. For this one, we're gonna put the Orbeez into our empty bottle. If you used it for the cornstarch, make sure you rinse the cornstarch out first um, and then come back or use a different bottle. So put your Orbeez in the bottle. So now just like the other one, we're gonna blow up the balloon and we're gonna put it on the top of the bottle. For this one, we're using the clear balloon so you can actually see the, the water beads, the Orbeez through the um, balloon. Now comes the fun part of shaking the Orbeez into the balloon. And again, slowly let the air out without losing any of the Orbeez. And tie the balloon off. There we go. Now you have a stress ball full of colorful Orbeez. So, you now have two stress balls to help you get through the very end of this school year. I hope they help. See you next week for another Teen Tuesday.